Good day everyone. If your computer is running slow, whether you're using Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer, the browser performance is very bad. Overall, the whole computer is very laggy. Then this tutorial is for you. So we are going to make the computer in a brand new condition. The 11 ways which I'm going to share are absolutely natural, authentic, and we are not going to install any third party software. And once we will be doing all these steps, your computer will be way better, way faster, just like your brand new machine. All right. And after those 11 steps, the 11 ways which I'll share, I'll tell you two more bonus tips, which will make your computer even more better. So let's get started. So here in the search icon, type control panel. So we are going to turn on the maintenance service of Microsoft. So here, once you type control, you will find control panel, the press match, and I will click on that. Now at the top right corner where you see view by, select by large icons so that you can see the window like this. And here we have this security and maintenance service. So I'll click on that. And here you will find maintenance and it says automatic maintenance. You can change the maintenance settings. I mean, you can set the automatic maintenance and you can schedule the time that at what time you want it. And if you want to do it manually, you can simply click on start maintenance and it will do it for you. All right. So this is the first step which you need to do. And the second step is to disable or delay the windows search services so here in the search icon type services and click on run as administrator you will find the best match like this now here i'll just maximize it so the services window is opened press w and look for windows search so i just have found it so here we are not going to disable it. What I would recommend, make it automatic delayed. So when you turn on the computer, your computer will not be laggy. So just do a right click and go to properties. And from here, startup type, select from automatic to select automatic delayed start. Once you do that, click on apply and okay. Now the third step is to clean your hard disk. And the best way to do that, type storage in your search window and you will find the best match storage settings. I will click on that. <clears throat> Sorry. So here, once you will see the system storage, you will see the storage management. And here, we need to turn on the storage sense, automatically free up space, delete temporary files and manage locally available cloud content. So you can turn it on like this and you can uh, click on that and you can select the run storage sense every day or every week. I would recommend to do it every week automatically and you can also clean up recommendation. You can do that and you can simply go through with this. Like if you have large or unused files, you can delete and free up space as well. So that is very important because um, you need to always look your C drive as well. It should have sufficient space, at least 70% free up space. So you can see my computer still have 15, 50% space left, All right? More than 50%. So once we are done with this storage sense, we will choose the visualization. I mean, how exactly we want our visualization in the computer. So to do that, just do a right click and then click on run and type sysdm.cpl. This will be a very important step. So please make sure that you do it correctly. So once you have typed sysdm.cpl, click on OK. And a new window will appear like this. And we need to go to this advanced tab. Now here. We need to change the visual uh, effects, processor, scheduling, and I'll just click on settings. And here we need to select 
select windows choose what's best for my computer so if it's selected best for appearance i would recommend to select uh, let windows choose what's best for my computer so this will be the best one and after doing this your computer performance will be drastically changed so you just need to click on ok and apply and now we need to disable the transparency effect now to do that do a right click in the start icon and then click on settings and here at the left hand side you will find personalization and then we need to go to this colors accent color transparency effect i'll click on that and please ensure that you turn off this transparency effect windows and surface appear translucent so you can turn off and this will definitely put off load from your computer once this is done we will move to the next step and we need to choose a new power plan you need to check what power plan you have in your computer so type power and you will find the best match the best match choose power plan so i'll click on choose a power plan and from here if you have uh, if you see balanced or high performance you can select the high performance from that all right you can also create a new power plan and select high performance if you see that this will also help your computer to use uh, resources in a balanced way once you're done we will move to the next step and that step is to turn off the unnecessary notifications from the computer so just do a right click in the start icon go to settings <clears throat> and at the left hand side you have an option called system so click on that and then we need to go to this notification so here you need to check uh, which all applications are sending you notifications and you can turn off the notification whichever uh, which you do not need so if you see if any notification is important you can turn it on rest you can turn it off this will also be a very handy thing once this is done we need to disable the startup items it is also a very essential step to increase the performance and boost windows 11 pc or windows 10 pc so just do a right click and go to task manager and then we need to go to this startup apps now here in startup, just maximize it. Please ensure that you only disable unwanted applications. Please do not disable graphics, security, audio, or something like that. Only unnecessary application needs to be disabled. So you just need to do a right click and you need to click on disable. So please go through with that and see which works for you. Once you're done, we will move to the next step. And the next step is to scan for the malwares. So if your computer have some infections, some virus uh, in your computer, then also your system can, uh, can run slow. So you just need to click on this arrow icon at the bottom right corner and look for the shield icon. So just do a double click on that. And then click on virus and threat protection and do a quick scan. This will be a very good thing to do. And you can do it on a on weekly basis. So you can minimize it and you can do the next step. And the next step is to reset the browser. So like if your browser is very um, uh, problematic, like it's not responding, not opening, something like that, you often face a lot of issues. So we will go with Google Chrome first and then we will go with the Microsoft Edge. So I'll open the Google Chrome and we need to click on this three dots and then we can go to settings and here at the left hand side we have this reset setting at the bottom so if your browser doesn't have no issues you can skip this step and you just need to click on reset settings and reset settings to the original default now bookmarks history and safe passwords won't be affected so you can click on reset settings all right so once this is done, we will move to the Microsoft Edge, people who use Microsoft Edge. So here at the top right corner, we need to click on these three dots. 
and then we need to go to settings and at the left hand side we have this reset settings restore settings to their default values for microsoft edge now here again your favorites history and safe passwords will not be cleared so you can do that once this is done close this window and we will move to the next step and the next step is to update the windows and it is very essential uh, to update it is very important to update your windows regularly and just do a right click in the start icon and then go to windows update and check for updates so whatever the updates are there get it installed restart the computer and see the difference now it's time to give you the bonus tip now the bonus tip is to repair the computer even if your computer doesn't have any kind of issues or if you don't find any corruption still you can do that it is actually good for the pc so you need to type cmd and you will find a command prompt and run as administrator and then click on yes and here we need to type sfc space forward slash scan now so this is a microsoft system file checker tool very i mean it's very effective and it fixes a lot of issues so type sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter it will begin the system scan and this might take two to five minutes and once this is done restart the computer all right so i'll just cancel it and the next bonus tip is to run the disk cleanup utility so many of us uh, know that but still it's a very handy feature so do a right click in the start icon click on run and type clean mgr it's my favorite step i often do it on every third four day so you can type clean mgr and then click on ok a new window will appear like this like you need to do the check mark these are all junk temporary files uh none of the file is created by you so don't worry and uh this is a very clean computer it doesn't have uh much junk but in your computer you might have 10 to 30 or maybe more than that uh more than 50 gbs of junk sitting there in your computer and making your computer slow so you can do the check mark and you just need to click on okay so in this manner you are clearing up all the junk all the temporary internet files cache from your computer and this will boost up your pc performance even if you are a gamer you should do all these steps to increase the gaming performance of your computer now please share this tutorial with your loved ones with your family with your friends and please hit the like and subscribe do let me know in the comment section if you see um, the benefit if you see the performance difference in your computer i'll be glad if you do so and please smash that like button and subscribe button for me to see more tutorials like this i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day take care